Good afternoon, parents and students. It is so good to see you today. Uh, I hope that you're having a great week. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about, about frustration. Um, but let me just tell you the story and, and where I'm at right now. I'm actually sitting in a parking lot um, and I'm sitting beside my car. And the, uh, well, when, when we had to get this, my new uh, Honda Pilot, new to me, not brand new, let me tell you. Um, the, the car came with uh, free, uh, free tire rotation, brake check, oil change uh, with when we bought it for a year. So uh, in the process of, of, of doing that, when I take it in to go get that looked at for the first time, they say, you know, the oil looks good. We changed that out for you. Your brakes are looking pretty good. We, we uh, looked at that, uh, except for on one wheel, and we can't rotate your tires. And I said, well, that's, that's kind of part of the deal here, so what are we waiting on? And, and uh, he said, well, the, uh, one, of your one of your wheels has a locking hub on it. And I said, okay, and he said, and, and the, the, the key is usually in, in the glove compartment and you had a key in there, but the key in the glove compartment is a Honda key and the, the lock is a Honda lock, but the, the key and the lock do not match. I said, well, do you not have it? He said, no, we're not a Honda dealership. And so we had to, we had to use your key if you had it. And since you don't have it, we can't, can't do it. You're gonna have to go to the Honda dealership to, to get that taken care of. I thought, okay. I'll do that. So I, uh, I I waited till I have a free moment. I go to the Honda dealership. They they tell me we're not 100% that it's a Honda uh, lock, uh, but they use every one of their uh, their keys. And finally, the last one, always the last one, right? It works. So I was there a little bit longer than I wanted to be, but that's fine. They took care of it for me. But I didn't have a replacement because I didn't uh, didn't have that with me yet. And so uh, he he locked he he tightened them up and. And uh, so I drove to the auto parts store to buy the, the one lug nut that I need, right? And so we get there and uh, we look up the car on the, on the machine and this tells me which lug nut to get. And so I buy the four pack because that's all they have. And, uh, and uh, it is not the right one. <laughs> It's not the right one, so I had to actually. I was driving Jenny's car because I don't like driving it on, uh, on, on with missing a lug nut, even though it's perfectly safe in theory. Um, I, I just didn't want to, so I, I ended up saying, you know what? It's not the right one. Jenny needs her car. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive, drive it to auto to the auto parts store, and I'm gonna exchange this for my money back and I'm gonna make sure I get the right one. I took in one of the extra nuts. I took in um, uh, my. Uh, um, wrench and I said I said are right, we gonna have one that fits this and matches this and they said well we don't have any of those uh, but we do uh, carry them in the in the warehouse and so we'll order them they'll be here by six o'clock tonight but there's no pictures so there's three different kinds and we don't know which one is the kind that actually will match the rest of yours so how about we just order all three of them and when they come in we'll just take a look at them and figure it out then I said all right well how long will it take for it to get here well it'll be about you know, it'll be six o'clock tonight well, you know, I figured I waited a few months to to get the the to get it taken off in the first place, so that's not all that big of a deal. But but the frustration set in, right? I, I don't want to have to do this today, yesterday. I don't want to have to to mess with this. I'm not a I'm not a mechanic. I, I can I know my way around some basic stuff, you know. But there are other things I'd rather be doing. There are other things in my life that need need me to do them, and and because of that. Tonight at 10 o'clock, uh, you know, after Thomas goes to bed at 8:30, uh, I'll be up working, doing things that I should have been doing uh, today. But instead, I'm I pulled over in this parking lot, and I just needed to take a moment to look at nature. And you take a moment to take a breath and realize that God, He's everywhere. And he's in my frustration, he's in the auto parts store, he's at the Honda dealership, he's at the, the dealership we bought the car from that were profusely apologetic that they couldn't take care of their part because they didn't have the right key. And, and maybe I needed this. Maybe I needed to get out of the house, maybe I needed to, to drive around, I needed to have a problem that didn't involve uh, the church, that didn't involve Thomas didn't involve our house to solve. 
just something to take it off my mind. So, so what I'm doing right now is I'm actually being thankful that this is happening. I'm praying to God and I'm saying thank you because it got me out of the house. It's a nice day. I've been riding with the windows down. I'm, I'm sitting in a parking lot right now at the, at the library. It's closed. Just to take some time for me. Eat some lunch. Enjoy the day. So that's what I want to tell you. God is with us everywhere. God is with us no matter what circumstances we're in. And he's here with us even in uh, a frustration, even in the frustration of a parking lot. Where we're probably just a little too hungry to think straight. So I want to encourage you, eat some food. Hopefully that fixes your mood, but also pray. Spend some time in nature. And just enjoy that God is there for you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you soon. Don't forget about the stuff for the firefighters. Don't forget to drop off monetary donations, gift cards, uh, and your thank you notes into the secure mailbox. And drop off any prepackaged stuff at the church, uh, the church front door uh, during office hours. I, I love talking to you. Let me know if you have any questions. God bless.